Hello everyone. I am Sanjana from West Bengal. I have pursued my graduation from College of Agriculture Extent Campus, Majihan, which is a sub campus of Uttar Mongo Kishibisha Vidalaya. And this year I have pursued in the exam ICAR PG 2023 in the subject code Entomology and Nematology with an aggregated mark of 332. I have secured fifth rank in the All India. So firstly, I want to thank my parents, all the teachers, my fellow batchmates during the academic life and especially thanks to Dr. Victor Fanisar who have guided me a lot without his friendly behavior, his support and guide, the achievement can be fulfilled. So come to the point about the preparation, the strategies I have followed. Firstly, if you are studying entomology, you should have a mindset that you should cover each and everything. As the syllabus is not quite big, you should not left anything. You should remember each and every terminology and should develop the skill of uh, remember the scientific names mainly. So this is not quite hard. Day by day your skill will be developed and you can capture the scientific names more easily. So coming from the first, you should keep cover the insect part 1 book mainly by the TVNU for in the introductory parts about the morphology, physiology, taxonomy etc. Uh, each and every line is important from this book. Tight questions are asked in this exam <coughs> from this book. So try to go through and revise the insect book wisely. Without it, in the taxonomy you should cover the order details, the families and each and every data. Now coming on to the next, the applied part, you should complete the part 2 book mainly by the TNU for the apiculture, sericulture etc. According to me, you should complete these books at least two times when you initially started the reading. Uh, after revising the two books, you should get in touch with the applied entomology by the DS Reddy, which is very important and helpful book. And the toxicology part and the paste part, they are very much good for beginners in this book. In the economic entomology, you should read the triple E book, mainly the elements of economic entomology by David and Ramamurthy. The economic part in this book is very vast. So try to cover the paste part very specifically, like the paste characteristics, the family names, the type of damage, some special control measures, etc. Uh, try to remember as much as you can. <coughs> For better memorization, write the scientific names in the paper crop-wise and go through at least one time daily. This will be very helpful for you. And uh, coming on to the ecology part, you can read the handbook by TV Prasad, which is very helpful and important book. And uh, this is the books I have covered. Without it, there are very much books available in the market. You can get and uh, read the books. And after completing the entomology syllabus, you can start the nematology by the mother book, which is uh, Bajaj and Walia. In the nematology part, uh, the economic part, morphology parts and mainly the special characters of the nematodes, the different uh, types of uh, reproduction, different types of damage symptoms, different types of morphological data in the nematodes. This can be, uh, should be read thoroughly from this book. Always remember that the insect is the mother book and you should get in touch all the time though you are reading any other books. For example, you should make the capability of completing the insect book in one single day in the last hours of your preparation. Try to collect insect related extra knowledges, the terminologies from whenever you can. The questions patterns are changing day by day and if you see this here, many questions come from outside of the books. So try to collect entomology related various data, various other categories, various journals and you can easily get details about entomologies from various ways. So many objective books are also available. Uh, mainly I cover the objective entomology by T.P. Prasad. Without it, you can read the glimpses of entomology, objective entomology by Dr. Sravan, etc. And after revising the whole syllabus, start the important one-liner books. Mainly the entomology treatise, entomology refreshers, these two books are very important. All the extra things, the data, the other important concept which can be get from these books. So you can get all the topics, many more unknown information which are very important for the exam. So try to cover the whole treatise and the refresher books. Without it, uh, there are very huge data in the books, so try to remember as much as you can. And lastly, the question papers of the agri toppers and the other sites, these are very important for giving exams and know about your preparation and further improvement. 
this parallel if for general agriculture you should read the numerous sundha books at least 5 pages daily every day you should also can cover 10 pages if you can and try to remember it thoroughly this is sufficient for general question so this is my game plan for 2 to 2 2 to 3 years always remember that the regularity is very helpful you should make the habit of reading regularly and get in touch with any of the entomology related books the repeated revise the practice and lastly a well planned strategy can make you masters in the field so don't be afraid of whatever you happen just know your interest select your module and then start your preparation set your goal and believe in yourself you easily can do it so again thanks secret topper platform for giving me the opportunity so that i can share my thinking with you again thank to all of my good wishes thank you very much